about 30 or 40 yards to the left side of the green. Frank Beard playing a 9-iron for his second shot here with the following win. Frank hits it out the green. It's going to be just a little bit over the flag. It's strong, but coming back, it carried over the pin, spun back, and then moved forward again. Frank is about 15 feet away. Boris must be at least 30 yards to the left of the flag is Boris. And Julius Boris is... Uh, Hit shot into the green, did hit the upslope in the fringe, is dead in the shot, and now he's faced with a, oh, about a 20 footer for his par. It's going to be short all the way, and Julius uh, drove that down into the turf. It jumped up and down, and he stopped about the same distance away that uh, he missed it last time. Uh, neither player has had too much luck on the greens on this back nine. Julius stole a couple of fairly good putts going out. Here's Frank putting out for his par. And uh, he made his par. Of course, he's putting for a bogey. Ooh, gosh, he almost missed that short one. The last hole, he pitched it to the right and pulled that one. And through 17 holes, Frank Beard takes the lead by one stroke. Trouble all the way here on the 18th hole at the Bay of Vista Golf Club in Mexico City, Mexico. There's a trap out on the right side of the fairway, about 260 yards off the tee, out of bounds on the right side and near the green, and one sand trap on the right side of the green. And stepping to the tee with the honor is Frank Beard using his driver, Oh, he hooks it off to the left. This could be in trouble. Look out, he's way over in the trees to the left. Frank Beard is in serious trouble here on the last hole, and he leaves an opening for Julius Boris. And remember, in case of a tie, there will be a sudden death playoff. Boris hits a good tee shot. He's ideal, right down the left side of the fairway. Good shot, it's going to kick off a little to the left, but he is in the fairway here on the 18th hole. And Frank Beard in serious trouble in the trees to the left. Frank Beard got quite a break here. His ball came to rest in just an ideal lie here on this hole among the trees. He's going to use an eight iron for his second shot here on the 18th hole at Bay of Vista. And he hits a good shot out of that. It's going to land on the right side of the green. It should kick left. It doesn't. It kicks right. He hit the hog back, and instead of kicking to the left toward the flag, the ball went off to the right. So Julius is going to have to rack it in there pretty close. Bogeyed the last two holes. And uh, he is coming to the left side. He's going to land just about pin high, and oh, boy, he's got a shot at it. Hit a good shot. It hit on the upslope, jumped back on the soft green, and stopped just about cup high, and looks like he's about nine feet away with Frank Beard about 35 feet away. Now on the 18th hole at the Bay of Vista Golf Club in Mexico City in a match which started out to be Lee Trevino, Julius Boris, and Frank Beard, and Lee was forced to withdraw on the 8th hole with an injured knee. Frank Beard from 35 feet out as strong as ball is running way past the cup down the hill that continues on toward Boris's ball, and here we have a match right now. Frank Beard was leading by one stroke at this point. And at this point, there is actually only two feet that separate these two players. Frank Beard lies three, just uh, about, oh, seven feet away for his par, and Julius Boris is about nine feet away for his birdie. So here we come, right down to the final fight, here on the final green at the Bay of Vista Country Club in our match between Julius Boris and Frank Beard. Here's Julius with a nine footer for a birdie. Of course, hasn't made a cut on this back nine. And it's off to the left. Look at that cut. Had he made that? What a pressure cut that Frank Beard would have been left with. <laughs> Boris, always a popular player for a number of years, not only with his colleagues, 
but also with the galleries. Frank did right here for the seven footer to decide this match. And it's in the cup. So it went right down to the last cut again, and you saw Frank Beard's cut catch the right lip, swung around, and the way it died in the center of the cup. So Frank Beard continues on his streak of winning on Charles Wonderful World Golf. Well, fellas, I can't say too much about uh, the excitement, the enjoyment that you gave the gallery here. Moose, uh, you were going along there just smooth as you could be, and all of a sudden, uh, what happened there on that 16th hole? Well, I had a little short putt there, Jim, and I... Uh kind of forgot to un uh, uncock my wrist. When I hit it, I kind of blocked it out a little bit and pushed it off to the right. It was a good shot you hit in here, and I uh, thought you made your putt. Actually, I really did. Yeah, I hit a good one there. It just didn't break as, quite as much as uh, Frank's did, but uh, I had a bad lie there at 17. I flew one. I had uh, had some mud on the ball and just threw it off to the left, and that was probably the worst shot I hit all day. Well, Moose, you're always an interesting carrot and always <laughs> give <laughs> a good you. show wherever you play, and... Uh, I, I saw that lie over there, and it was a tough one. And on behalf of Shell, we uh, certainly want to thank you for appearing on the show and uh, want to wish you the best of luck in your new uh, fishing series that you have coming up. Thank you very much, Jim. Uh, and I certainly want to congratulate Frank, and I wish him a lot of luck in the uh, succeeding matches. Well, thank you. Hope he does well. And Frank, uh, you know, it came right down to the last putt and had Boris made his, your putt would have been a little tougher, wouldn't it? If Boris had made his, I'd never made mine. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. But it was, uh, it's wonderful again to play with Julius. And uh, uh, I am kind of sorry we didn't play a little better today. But this, this goes to show that pros are human, you know. We can't shoot 65 and 6 every day. And we occasionally shoot rounds like this where uh, we don't shine too much. But it was a wonderful afternoon. And just, just happy to be here with Jewish and Shell people. Well, congratulations to both of you, and why don't you uh, go with the clubhouse, and I'll join you in just a moment. Thank you. Very good. Thank you, gentlemen.